in the 70s, late 70s, I got into fusion jazz. And I went to Europe and disco was still playing big there. Uh, but I was still looking for fusion jazz music. So I liked to dance, so dance music was fine. But what I wanted to do was sit down and get more technical and develop skills as far as playing percussion and drums. There was really nothing out there. From the States, everybody was just getting, getting to the new Jack Swing stuff and everybody was following everybody else, the pattern. You know, here's a song, here's a verse, drop all the instruments, just leave the drums in the bass, then you bring up the instruments in the chorus and drop them again in the verse and you bring them all back up. And they all had certain beats. And that was fine for what they were doing. But I had to develop this and I wanted to play something else. So, in the late 80s, I finished, finished college, got my degree in electronics, and I moved to Dallas. Been here ever since. <clears throat> but here, the radio station would bring in the DJs from Chicago, New York, and Detroit, and California. They would bring in this house music, this techno, this trance music, and this drum and bass. So <clears throat> every Saturday from 10 o'clock to 2 a.m., the age club would play this music. You wouldn't have to go to the club, you just turn on your radio. And you had the, um, the music like you were at Studio 54 or in Detroit somewhere or <clears throat> Chicago. And a lot of these DJs would come and perform live in the studio or perform live at a, at a club in Deep Ellum. So this is one of the bands I saw in Deep Ellum. Uh, they're named 808 State and they're not really a band that America can say radio friendly. Like uh, Level 42 was not a radio friendly band because they did funk, a little bit of jazz, and a little bit of um, fusion mixed together. And then Pop Stones all on one album. So 808 State was a band that would take elements of electronics and sampling and mix it all together. Not the sampling of, when I mean sampling, not the sample when you, when you hear the word sample and you look at this color, you think about taking something from an old record and putting it on a song and sampling a piece of the record to make your own. In the 80s, I was in the sampling and I had a few samplers, but I was sampling sounds. So if I wanted to take and make that my bass drum, then that would be my bass drum with effects added to it. Not me taking something from a song I used to dance to in the 70s. Or, you know, some party back in eighth grade where you're on one side of the room with the men and the girls on the other side of the room and everybody's waiting for the first person to ask the other person to dance on a popular song. So 20 years from after that, I do not want to hear that same song when I was on the side of the wall with my friends trying to figure out what girl I'm going to ask to dance. It just, it just ain't me. It's, I don't see a progress in sound. I see a progress in the singing ability. I see a progress in the songwriting ability. But musically, it's lacking. So, in my household, when I came to the college, Texas, I would listen to uh, the DJs um, that were coming on Edge Club on Saturdays. And then sometimes my wife would let me go down there and watch them. And 808 State was one of the bands that my whole family could listen to. Uh, <clears throat> I got a lot of people that was at, at my job to listen to them too. A lot of brothers, I would say, hey, check out this band called 808 State. Now they were techno, but they had this jazz feel to them. And they weren't a smooth jazz, but they were just taking elements and mixing it all together and being free in their create, in, in, in their creating the songs. And so I've always looked at me when I create a song being free. And so this is one of the songs of 808 State that, you know, me and my family going on a trip, going to Galveston or driving to California somewhere to visit my little brother or something. Everybody had a CD they can play. But if I put on 808 State, the whole family could listen to that um, music. And each year they come out with different records, 808 State got better. I don't want to say the songwriting got better, but uh, if I was more in the techno in house, three or four songs the whole family could listen to, listen to, but by the fifth song, it might be too technical for them. But by Don Solaris' uh, CD, uh, 808 State, um, it's pretty one of the songs, I mean one of the, the CDs or albums, whatever you want to call it, was one of those albums that 
from beginning to end, you listen to every song. And they got every song was like, wow, one beautiful song after another, like like a, a person wrote a review on it. It was actually one beautiful song after another one. And they were all a fusion of electronic elements of techno, trance, house, pop, funk, African, all spooled together. So this is one song from 808 State, one attempt to play. <laughs> 